All right, hello everybody. Six Speed Dakota here, and uh, today's project on this rainy, miserable Sunday or Saturday afternoon is we're going to be changing the gear oil in the infamous Dodge. I just got back from the parts store, so she's rumbling away out there. So, uh, just some stuff you're going to need for this project. You're going to need some gear oil. This is Pennzoil Synthetic 7590, and. Uh, for the front or for the rear axle, we need Mopar. Let's flip this around here. Mopar 75140 synthetic for the rear axle. And in this case, we're going to need some limited slip additive because it's a limited slip dip. We're also going to need some gasket sealant, a flat blade screwdriver, a gasket scraper, or a wire brush or a wire wheel. And of course, suitable drain pan. And as usual, your standard set of hand tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Dodge for a quick drive around the block and make sure that the gear oil is warmed up. So let's get going, shall we? All right, you see now I got 44,000 miles on it. Most uh, most vehicle manufacturers recommend you change it about every 50,000 K or 30,000 miles. Dodge recommends every 15,000 miles. And since this is an American truck, well, it's time for a change. So. And just drive around the around the church parking lot here. Back her up. All right. Now you just want to get give it a little bit of a run here, so that uh, so you can heat up the gear oil in the back. So there's three kinds of differentials. There's limited slip. There's mechanical locking and then there's open. Now an open differential allows the wheels to spin easily from side to side. So when you go around a corner like, like we're doing now, if we turn in a circle, the outer wheel is actually moving faster than the inner wheel. So that way the limited slip and the posi, they don't like to do this as much, but you need something to be able to create a difference in the speed of the wheels and that's where the differential comes in. So this one's got a limited slip in the rear and an open up front. Now what a limited slip or a posi does is it has clutches. Give a good heart. Uh, but the limited slip a lot basically does that the open doesn't though, is it allows power to be transferred to both wheels. So it makes it kind of hard to turn around a corner and it makes it kind of unpredictable on slippery roads but in thick gravel, mud and rocks and gravel and stuff like that, it, it makes it much, much better. Now a mechanical locking one is even better than, than a posi. However, the only problem being that neutral spark and brake on. There we go. The only thing different about a posi versus a mechanical locker is the mechanical locker does it better, but it really it really doesn't like to turn around a corner. Uh, it'll, and especially with bigger tires, it'll it'll beat up the tires a little bit more. So first thing you want to do, after you take it for a test drive, pop the hood. Always pop the hood, especially because we're going to be doing the uh, front diff. It makes it easier to see, and also it just lets somebody know that you're working on the vehicle. So you don't want them driving off without any gear oil in it, because that would be really bad. So lift the hood. There's the big Beastly engine, 4.7 liter V8. And uh, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna go grab my coveralls and uh, we'll get rolling. All right, now a couple things before we start here is um, you gotta know the difference between axle types before before we kind of start. So why is it beneficial to change your gear oil? Well, your gears are gonna live a longer life. You're gonna get better gas mileage because there's less drag. And also, this is called a semi-floating rear axle which means that there's a bearing inside it that the shaft rides on. And what will happen with these style axles, these are not, not as heavy duty style axles, but they're much, much lighter and less unsprung weight and better handling and stuff like that. So ultimately, the benefit here, let's let me put this down, the benefit is that you don't want to wear the hardening off the shafts. It's, the shafts have been specially case hardened. So the inside is ductile, so it's able to withstand shock loads and the torsional effects. If it was just hard all the way through, then it could just snap with a good, you know, if you drop the clutch by accident, then you could snap the axle shaft if it's too hard. 
So it's got hardening on the outside to prevent the uh, prevent wear. So if you don't change your oil frequently, you're going to end up by wearing. There we go. You're going to end up wearing that hardening off the shaft, and basically the shafts are as good as useless, and they're very expensive, and so are the bearings. So change your oil often; it'll pay you back in the long run. So now we're going to go underneath here. Get on the trusty creeper. Now, first thing you notice when you go underneath is this, what we like to call the pumpkin here, it has little bolts, okay? This is one style. There's another style, get the light out of the way here, where it just has a drain plug from underneath. If you got one of these, you're very lucky. Now, unfortunately with ones like this, you got to take all these bolts out. So, I'm going to go grab my tripod and we'll take all the bolts out. All right, so if you got a plug underneath here, a drain plug, and you don't have this cover on the back, you're lucky, because all you have to do is just pull the plug out and let the oil go. If you got a cover like this, well, it's not that you're in bad shape or anything like that, but that just means you got to pull all these bolts off. So, first thing you want to do is just pop this little plug out. Now, Dodge just like to use this plastic plug, which I kind of like. Because that's just easy to pop out. Now, if you see a bunch of oil run down there all of a sudden, and it's all kind of creamy, milky looking, well, then you probably got water in there, and you're going to want to figure out why you're getting water in there. So, yeah, you're going to have to rectify that. You might have a bad axle seal somewhere. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take all the bolts out, except for these two down here and the two up top here. And we'll explain that in just a second why. Okay, so I got all the bolts out except for these two down here and the two up top here, which you probably can't see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack the four loose. Now I recommend against using air tools on these things because if you break one, you will not be a happy camper. Then you'll end up having to spend the rest of your weekend drilling out and re-tapping the bolt. These things like to lock in there pretty good, so be prepared to put a little bit of force to them. Okay, now that we got all four of them cracked loose, bring the drain bin over, and then you're going to take the two bottom bolts out. Just by lighting a little bit here. Okay, we're going to take the two bottom bolts out. Now, in case you haven't figured it out, this diff is full to maybe about halfway up there, up the case, full of oil. So the trick here is to not take a shower in it. Which I've done quite a few of these, so it's a little bit difficult sometimes. But in cases like your Honda CRVs, pilots, things like that, that have the drain plug, consider yourself lucky. Because those are very easy. The only thing is, to service the, the gears if something went wrong, like a bearing or something, you kind of have to take the whole thing apart. Oh, now I can see the oil start to drip out. This is where, this is where the fun part comes in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the two top bolts, oops, and we're going to loosen them off about three or four turns. I should probably do that by hand. Well, You just want to back them out just a little bit. And in doing this, it's going to allow the bottom of the front cover to come out just a little bit. So once you got those out just a little bit, you're going to take your screwdriver, put it in between the cover, and let the oil come out. And there we go. That's a clean way of draining your oil. So while it's draining right now, what you could do is loosen your top bolts off a little bit more and just let the oil completely drain out and then we can move on to the next step